Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an Airbus pilot and in this tutorial on the Airbus A320 we're going to talk about the descent briefing. Now we are using the Airbus Smarter Briefing concept for this and as always this starts with cross-checking. So the pilot monitoring would have cross-checked all the entries that the pilot flying has made in the previous tutorial video at this point. So all the entries that we made, cross check them with a chart. Basically, the pilot monitoring would have done exactly the same that the pilot flying has already done that we detailed in the descent preparation tutorial. Now, when that is complete, then the briefing is going to start. And again, just like on the departure briefing, it starts with the pilot monitoring. And the pilot monitoring is going to mention the following items. The minimum off-route altitude, minimum obstacle clearance altitude or minimum safe altitude for the planned trajectory, the star, the type of approach, say for example ILS, RMP or whatever, the minimum, the go-round trajectory and the extra fuel and time that is available for the flight. This is done that way in order to ensure that the pilot monitoring is completely in the loop and is aware of everything going on around him. Then the pilot flying is going to continue the briefing with his plan. And that is going to be the guidance for the approach. Let's say not only is it an ILS or whatever, but also how am I going to fly it? Am I going to use the approach mode? Am I going to fly the raw data? Am I, in case of a non-precision approach, am I going to use the FPA mode? All that stuff. Then the landing flap setting, the stop margin, use of reverses. So are you going to use idle reverse or maximum? Use of auto brake planned runway exit, hotspots for taxi in, special operation and non-standard operation. When that has been talked about, it is again going to be the pilot monitoring's turn to talk about any threats that he has identified for the approach. Thereafter, the pilot flying is going to add his threats and then both will together talk about the mitigations against the threats in question. Finally, miscellaneous items can also be brought up at the end of the briefing. So let's have a look at an example briefing now. And as mentioned, the pilot monitoring is going to be the one to start the briefing. So, MSA 2200 feet and we are flying the Logan 2 hotel arrival for an ILS approach runway 27 ride. The minimum is 278 feet and the go around is straight at to 1580 or the uh, zero DME, so the runway threshold. And then it's a right hand turn onto 316 track climbing 3,000 feet. Extra fuel and time is going to be 100 kilos, 3 minutes. Now it's the pilot's flying turn once again. Okay, guidance for the approach. We're going to use localizer and glide slope with a manual landing. The landing flap setting is going to be config full and the stop margin is approximately 2,000 meters. Reverses will be used and in idle and the auto brake on low. Plant runway exit is to the right hand side and we do not have any hotspots for the taxi yet. I do not have anything special and non-standard. Maybe the um, speed limits in London Heathrow 160 knots until 40 me could be considered something non-standard but we do that on a lot of airports so it's nothing really to worry about. Do you see any threats for the arrival? No, I don't. Okay, neither do I, and in terms of miscellaneous, I'm going to keep the autopilot engaged until we have completely configured the airplane and until we're just a couple hundred feet above the runway. So autopilot will remain on for a long time and then I am going to disconnect it for a manual landing later. Any questions? No questions. So, when the briefing is complete and some distance to the top of descent remains, you can see my uh, simulator is paused over here, 10 miles prior to the top of descent. When some time remains, then you would also do the PA to the passengers, but you would try to avoid having to do PA later in the descent, as um, that might interfere with all the uh, monitoring that you can do. So, that is going to be all for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it, that you learned something. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I would like to say thank you very much and as always, if you're up for more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
If you really love what I'm doing over here, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below. And until then, I would like to say thank you very much and see you all again on the next one.